Okay, hello and welcome. And I'm joined here with Mr. Gatam Kartik, who is an amazing uh, Gatam player. And uh, Hi, a, hello, and a conacolist, and a conical artist. So, sir, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, uh, let's, let us start with uh, your background and where you come from and the instrument that you play, the gatam, and uh, about your gurus and uh, all the rest of it. Thanks for your uh, loving in introduction. And uh, of course, my name is Karthik. So my first name is Karthik and my surname is Subramanyam, which is my father's name. So the, uh, I live in Chennai, South India. Um, so in our tradition, we always have the surname, uh, our father's name as uh, our surname. So in my passport, it will be Karthik as first name and Subramanyam as the sur surname. And in my son's uh, passport, his name will be Sarvesh and Karthik will be the surname. <laughs> so it will be, it's, it's the culture here. So, but uh, like you had introduced me as Gatam Karthik, uh, people uh, associate me with the instrument. So it has become my first name. So I have become the surname. So Gatam Karthik, like, uh, uh, we had uh, one of the one of the greatest artists, uh, Srinivas, who played mandolin. He was always always uh, referred as Mandolin Srinivas, or uh, the exterior great called uh, Mali, the flute artist. He is always called flute Mali. So, so in South Indian tradition, uh, the normal uh, concert uh, rasikas or the the people who are listening to the music, they always refer. Uh, that particular artist with that instrument, uh, so or 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 they uh, refer as with the uh, name village name, like they oh, really? call Lalgudi, uh, Kunakudi, Umayalpuram, uh, something like that, uh, Karakudi, <laughs> something like that. Uh, so even uh, they will say they will not say Mr. Mani. They will always say Karakudi Mani sir. They, they will not say Shivaraman. They always say so, Mayalpuram Shivaraman, sir. So it's always with the surname or the, the village name or the instrument name. Uh, and people will say, oh, today I'm going to Flute Ramani's concert. <laughs> <laughs> Something. So it's a very peculiar thing to be called as uh, Gatam Karthik. And uh, the, I consider it as a blessing because to be associated with an instrument is also a special blessing. That's about my name, and uh, of course, I live in Chennai, um, and uh, I've been living here all my life. And uh, my guru is the one and only uh, Gatam Maestro uh, Viku Vinaykaram sir, uh, and his brother Subhash Chandram sir. And uh, uh, this is very more particular to this interview because uh, Mr. Subhash Chandram sir uh, is also a very great conical expert, apart from being um, uh, Murdangam artist, Gatam artist, a guru, and so on and so forth. But he specialized on Konakol also. My gurus are Vikku Vinaykaram sir and uh, Subhash Chandran sir. And uh, of course, Vikku Vinaykaram sir is all, uh, known all over the world as the Gatam, guru, the great guru. And as well as Subhash Chandran also is an equally great Gatam artist, as well as a Murdangam artist, and a guru, and a special expert in uh, Konakol. And he inspired me. And uh, in our school, all of us are expected to say the lessons before we play on the instrument. So even the beginning lessons, like Tati Tumnam, like right from the first lessons, we are you we are supposed to say it and put the tala and say it uh, like ta di tum nam. Ta, kita, di, kita, tum, kita, nam, kita, all these things. So the, then only we are taught the drumming patterns or the fingering techniques. Then we play uh, the, like, like, for instance, the dum is played like this in Mrithagam, but it's, but it's played like this in a gatam. And when it is a more thing, when it has to be different in different, different instruments. But the ultimate language of rhythm is the conical. So. Uh, any drummer, any Congo player, any bass guitarist, any 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 musician, any musician, uh, even he may be a pianist, he may be, he or she may be a singer also. But if Conakol is, uh, if he or she 
knows the basics of Kona Call, it's, it makes them a better musician. Absolutely. I definitely agree with that from my own experience as well as a drummer and a Western musician playing different yeah, yeah. And style. Uh, and it, styles. The, it, it, it facilitates you to internalize the rhythms very well as well as see the, uh, even if you uh, suddenly uh, hear a very odd time signature, immediately the grid, the grid is in front of you. Yes, it's yes. Okay. You, then you said, oh, okay, this is 11 and a half. Oh, this is nine and a quarter. <laughs> for, 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 for people who are not uh, into it, they'll say, what? Oh, that will be like, uh, like algebra and calculus for them. Because yeah. we, we, when you have some basics in Konakol, it makes, it makes your life easy as a musician to play even odd time signatures. And because you're uh, aware of the matras and aksharas, what we call as subdivisions, like yes. uh, one, 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 one sixteenth of a beat or uh, two sixteenths of a beat or three sixteenths of a beat, eighth note, uh, dotted eights, all these things are make, make it very, very easy for you. Yes. Like ta, 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 ta. So the grid is three. But you only you play only the one, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, two, like the two and three is internalized. So it's like, like you are into understand car ways and you understand the rest. Even though when it's, it's rest, it's still counted. So Konakol teaches you uh, how to visualize or the virtually see the whole structure, like the whole DNA is in front of you. Yeah, it's fascinating, isn't it? And you, over the years, you developed a, a, a certain style, which we've spoken a little bit about before the interview, of uh, reciting conical. Can you speak a little bit about your own uh, style of uh, reciting conical and how you yeah, yeah. got to it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. First, I'm a, I'm a rasika, or if you can say, I'm a lover of uh, good sound. <laughs> So anything that is good sound becomes musical. So anything, uh, just reciting the syllables becomes a very normal exercise. It will be like uh, saying some telephone numbers. <laughs> so <laughs> so it will it, not be interesting. But even even if you uh, say the same, you have to say it in a way it becomes like a weaving thread and as a, like a, like a loop or a groove, like I use my bass and sharp and mid tones, like like you should not say no, 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 no. You should not shout rhythms. You should sing rhythms, like like if you say. So you use the dynamics, you use the sound, phonetics, the even the language. Like if you say taka, 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 like that, it it not be it'll be like some crazy noise, isn't it? <laughs> if you say so you use the sound, you use the dynamics to create as if he is, in, he is listening to an instrument. Like the, the, the audience will sh should imagine he is using, he is listening to a virtual instrument. Yeah. Like, like the, the, if you ask for a drummer, they'll say, <laughs> so as if they will recreate the sound of the drum, isn't it? Yes. Like, like even the hi hats, the rim shot, the drum, snare, hi hat, cymbal, everything will be in mouth. And when you listen to a Tamil artist, when you ask ask a Tamil artist, they will say, track, jin, track, 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 jin, track, like that. Like the so Tamil that, sound. Yeah. The Tamil sound will become uh, the Konakol thing. And when you listen to a Ganjira artist singing it, they think, doom, 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 doom. that sound will come. And Gatam artist will always fill up with a lot of uh, farans because Gatam doesn't have a sustained sound. They say they will always say, 
something like that because to maintain the continuity of the rhythm you can't play ta ding okay na tum that is good for voice but you cannot play it in any other instrument because maybe in more things they'll say do for us for a period of thing you can sustain but that also only to a period of uh, maybe maybe maximum is to a one hour ta that's it <laughs> yeah after that you you lose the breath <laughs> yes so the you so you're saying you, there is a, an adaptation of the syllables to the instrument and their particular uh, sounds and uh, sustain as well I, like I, you, i always i always try to match to the uh, the acoustics of the hall and the ambience around me as well as the re response from the audience and if if it is a very like a like a echo room it's better to say more of bass syllables like like if it is a very booming echo room like a church uh, big hall it's better to say so it will be very very interesting for the audience if it is a very small room with lot of uh, sound uh, proof or like a studio even if your small dynamics will be recorded or heard uh, if it is a chamber concert or something like that so each and every occasion audience ambience co artist everything matters so when you are playing uh, with a very very subtle so soft sounding uh, voice it's better to say more more said it but if you're going to play it with uh, with the tabel and electric guitar and keyboard and fusion and all this uh, full full blast you can maybe show more of all these things we can do <laughs> <laughs> or you can say all these dynamics and uh, making uh, like a Uh, creating crescent doors you can do but if you are if you are uh, if you are if you are a sensible and a sensitive musician you will you will adapt and adapt to the the ambience yeah the whole situation the room the band the instruments yes. etc yes for artist and uh, and you are you are mood of the day <laughs> If I had a fight somewhere, maybe I'll not have a good good kind of call segment. <laughs> <laughs> also, even the audio guy who who's doing the sound, he, he, if he gives us the best uh, fallback monitors, you will always feel very comfortable. And when you're comfortable, you'll get the best, and you'll give the best. Every musician has this problem on stage. And uh, sir, could you show us a, a little uh, corner call, uh, uh, corvai or composition or exercise that you like to do or you like to give to your students? Why not? Um, uh, I I made a small uh, two hour task uh, sort of an exercise to help the Western guys internalize the carways. so it is it is a very simple exercise i'll i'll first say the normal exercise pattern which is 1 to 8 it's it's i i called it 1 to 8 and 8 to 1 and which is nothing but ta which is 1 taka is this 2 takita is 3 takadimi is 4 taka takita is 5 takita takita is 6 takadimi takita is 7 takadimi takajunu is 8 everybody knows that so i i created one pattern called 1 to 8 which uh, which has uh, two tam tams in between everything so tam is 2 and two tam tams is, becomes 4 so there is a carve of 4 in in between every 1 2 3 in between 1 and 2 2 and 3 3 and 4 so on so on it goes like this 1 2 3 4 tatam tam takatam tam takita tam tam takadina tam tam takatakita tam tam takita takita tam tam takadini takita tam tam takadini takajuno tam it's a simple exercise and if i flip it it will be 1 2 3 4 
tak dimi tak jun tam tam tak dimi tak ita tam tam tak ita tak ita tam tam tak tak ita tam tam tak dimi tam tam tak ita tam tam tak tam tam tak tam so i i always uh, and um, just to update you further on my of course you know me uh, as a gatam musician or uh, a performing artist on gatam playing for different different musicians and on the uh, of course i i also do a lot of kono kol in my own band uh, heartbeat as well as uh, in lot of concerts of prince rama varma he is really made me sing uh, the kono kol thing in most of his concerts and uh, there are a lot of a lot of videos in the youtube uh, uh, me saying kono kol in his concerts so each one is different so and apart from this i have uh, have taught as a faculty a indian percussion faculty in in a world music college called sam uh, it's called swarnabhumi academy of music here it's a two hour drive from chennai Mm-hmm. and uh, it's a it's a they teach jazz they voice oh. piano bass guitar drums and so on and so forth and faculty from all over the world come and teach there they stay and teach there and even the students stay there uh, but i was going as a guest uh, lecturer for uh, two days a week or uh, a day a, week, a day a week and i have taught almost like more than 10 semesters there so and uh, people uh, faculty as, as well as the students who are uh, playing like jazz reggae new new age rock uh, metal heavy metal latin jazz all all type of uh, uh, genres so they used to come and uh, sit in my class and uh, they wanted to learn what is a carvey what is uh, how to internalize the carvey so for the for them i created a lot of uh, exercises which is more palatable for the western audience like not for the regular uh, carnatic guy who is learning uh, proper mrdangam ganjira gatam or more singh this was intended for the more western uh, minds or uh, so i created this and um, so this is and then i asked them to say it without the second tam the first one is tatam tam takka tam tam takita tam tam takka din tam tam takka takita tam tam takita takita tam tam takka dimi takita tam tam takka dimi tak junno tam so this is a straight forward thing so the second level is tatam takka tam takita tam takka din tam takka takita tam takita takita tam takka dimi takita tam takka dimi tak junno tam beautiful so without because you are internalizing the second the eighth note which is the tam so then i asked them ask the student or the other people to internalize the whole syllable which is like this 1 2 3 4 4 tam tat tam ta tam ta tam ta tam ta tam ta tam ta that's really beautiful with the gaps yeah it's almost like killing you <laughs> just like <laughs> like that so so that ta tam tam ta tam tam ta tam tam ta tam tam ta tam so ta that five has to be internalized yes then ta ka di mi ta ka has to be internalized ta ka di mi ta kita also to be internalized and ta ka di mi ta ka juno so it becomes like this ta tam tam 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 ta tam adding uh, adding more misery to the learning mind <laughs> i i i do it with melody mm. ta jum 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 
Takadimi Taka Junotam. And I asked them to sing and play. Sargama Badiza Aniba Magasa. So, Tadum, 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 Takadimi Taka Junotam. And what, what, and it, it it takes almost like uh, hours for them to get it because it's 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 a new thing, and like that like this is just an example. But but uh, I've formulated a, sort of a full course for the Western uh, and Western guys, and I've I've had uh, people, uh, uh, bass guitar players, Congo players, uh, uh, djembe players. Uh, the faculty were coming and teaching at Sam. And uh, people from Lebanon, Iraq, uh -huh. uh, Peru, and by that they have an insight of the whole Carnatic system or the conical system, how to count, how to internalize, how to uh, understand the carways, how to understand the aksharas and matras, and how to calculate calculate uh, musically. That is, uh, if I and suddenly I will ask, I will I'll play. Uh, uh, I'll just put I put a tala like this, like one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, uh, one. It looks like Adi tala, but it is not Adi tala. It's taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka taki ta taki ta taka dimi. So it becomes thirty, not thirty-two. So it becomes seven and a half, not not eight. So there, I'll ask them to say form something and uh, like uh, form a core way. And what is a core way? What is a second half, first half? All these things I I share, I share, and uh, I and the people, a lot of people uh, like top top notch professional guys. Uh, they suddenly they say, hey Karthik, I want to have a four four. Four session, four four classes. Uh, I said, okay, we'll 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 fix some time, and uh, they send me money, which is which is makes me very very happy. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I I I I and I I give them back more than the value for for money, and because and mm. they 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 use it in their concerts, and uh, and uh, in fact, a um, lot of people from Argentina, Peru, Venezuela. They've they've done the composition in my honor, and they said uh, it's for Kadam Karthik or something like that, which makes me very happy and more touched because we, uh, more than the money part of it, the the thing that you share that that really helps them to become a better musician, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's that's really amazing if, when you are in a position to be able to give that to to people. Yeah. It, it, I know. In, no, no. You. The problem is. Uh, the the Kannada system is so complex, but it has to be given in a certain way so that the Western audience, like you said, this channel is intended for more Western audience. So exactly what I was, what I am doing is exactly I have my uh, my student base is more of the my Indian students are very less. <laughs> Only the the drummers or bass guitar players or Congo players, trombone players. And uh, oboe players, a lot of play, play, players uh, uh, learn from me, and uh, I try to squeeze my time. And uh, of course, basically, I'm more a performer. I, uh, of course, in this time, nobody is performing. <laughs> <laughs> we are all play playing home concerts. <laughs> yes, yeah. I've seen some of those on uh, your YouTube channel, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, my son is also doing so a lot of lot of crazy things. We did uh, uh, a video called Journey of Rhythm. So we, we he played a lot of uh, uh, Indian grooves, like uh, Hansonic in Hansonic. He played, uh, he sampled all the instruments. And he, he played Tawil, he played uh, Kohl. Uh, uh, and all the other rhythms I, I re reproduce in my gatam. And I would really recommend, by the way, uh, to everyone watching this uh, interview, to go yeah. and check uh, uh, Karthik's um, uh, YouTube channel, where I think there is a little 
a program of some basic lessons as well, isn't it? Uh, not not much, but uh, it, it has a lot of conical things. Uh, but uh, the lessons, of course, I, I take on one 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 to one basis. Yes. And uh, uh, you uh, people are welcome to uh, contact me, and uh, you can go to my website katamkartik.com. Yes. And it has my phone number, which is also my WhatsApp number. It's, it has my email, and all things are there, of course. Great. Every artist need every artist needs everybody's support. <laughs> of course, yeah. And I'll again I'll link to that in the description below, so people can uh, contact you if they wanted the lessons and all sure, that. Sure, sure. There is a very uh, peculiar pattern, a very age-old pattern, which is called Tatpitta Krishnadegrudam, Ditta Krishnadegrudam, Tat Krishnadegrudam, Krishnadegrudam. So I what I did was. It, it has uh, five parts. Tatitta Kritu Degradum, Ditta Kritu Degradum, Ta Kritu Degradum, Kritu Degradum, Terigradum. Okay. So, what I did was, of course, it, it's a, just an idea, but it, it, it suited very much for the Gatam. So, I, what I did was, I played the first pattern once, second pattern twice, third pattern thrice, fourth pattern four times, and fifth pattern five times. So, Oh, wow. a tournament, which was very well received uh, for <laughs> for the gatam. It was like it's like uh, making uh, making a dress for your fittings. Yeah. So it's like uh, it really fits you. Like great. And this is all in Tisra. It's in all in Tisra Nadai. Uh, uh, everything is in Tisra. So okay. I try to uh, like you said about the farans. I try to play even the five seven nine in full top speed. Like this. <laughs> Uh, this is not on a call. <laughs> this is uh, replica replicating the sound which has to come from the gutam. Whatever you play, you should be able to say. And whatever you say, you should be able to play. But these things, you can only play, you cannot say. Yes. Of course, uh, there are people who can say it better than me, but it's better to play play it than say it. <laughs> there are things which is sounding only good on the instrument, not on the voice. And there are some inst there are some things which sounds only good on the voice, not on any instrument. Sure. Which, which becomes the conical special things. Kartik, thank you so much for, for the interview. I really appreciate your time and uh, I'm hoping to see you in London sometime soon. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me and uh, I wish uh, all your uh, your students, your fans, your the subscribers of your channel, uh, all the hi to them. And uh, I feel happy to be featured in your channel. Thank you. Thank you very much. Katam Tattam Gatam Karthik. That's great.